Starting inside row number four in the 82 machine, it's Mad Mike Leonard to his outside in the 8X, it's Justin Bell. Your C feature transfers, the 18 of Dion Kovar and the 5H of Sean Hine will be row number five. Row number six will be Austin Yoakum in the 3J and the 413 of Bo Riffle. We waste no time, this time by through three and four. Caden Murray's got the green flag in hand and we are green smooth start. For your front row, Bobby Draper and Lauren Cook. Draper's gonna take the high line and the early advantage off of corner number two. Cook dives low as she's got a freight train coming behind her of a three wide battle between Wickhorst, Reed, and Latour. McLean Reed in the middle. He's gonna hang on to that second spot. Get it away, a little slip off of corner number four. He's also gonna seal Preston Wickhorst into the fourth spot. Great three wide racing going on back in the pack. Look for Tyler Nehru trying to make his way through in between Bell and Latour. Bobby Draper's gonna lead another one. He's gonna need eight more of them this time by. Bobby Draper, McLean Reed making a quick run in that 44 machine trying to catch the back bumper of Bobby Draper. Bell hanging on to the third spot. Tyler Nehru trying to close the door on the fourth spot as the battle heats up for your first place spot. McLean Reed tries the low side. Bobby Draper stays up top. Draper with the momentum off of two, but not quite enough. Give it to the map, daddy. McLean Reed takes the lead, rolling into three. Is Draper gonna try and challenge off a of corner number four? Not gonna get done this time. It's Reed, Draper, Bell, and Nehru. Slight sparks off the left rear for Nehru, but he's making it high, wide, and handsome off a of corner number two, trying to seal that spot against Bell. At a turn four, five laps left to go. McLean, Reed, Bobby Draper, Tyler Narrett up to the third spot. Yeah, lots of sparks, James, off those brakes. Bell in the fourth spot. Great battle between Bell and Nehru. Bell really liking the bottom side. Great grip through three, but off a of corner number four, the high line momentum just sticks with Nehru. Sparks or otherwise. Now it's a three wide battle for the second spot. Bobby Draper oh. trying to hang on to it. Big move for Dion Kova on a turn two. He picks up a spot. Big move mounting up for Tyler oh. Nehru off a of corner number four. Give the second spot to Nehru. Bobby Draper hangs on the third, but not for long as Bell tries to mount a challenge. Slide job through two. Give the third spot to Bell. Draper's going to try back on the bottom side, but look out. Here comes Dion Kovar trying to get into that three car mix. Two laps to go for McLean Reed, Dion, Tyler Nehrud. Dion Kovar is a man on the move out of the C feature, and he is in the final transfer spot out of turn two. Bobby Draper back to fifth. Dion Kovar's not done yet. White flag final time for McLean Reed. Tyler Nehrud out of turn four. Bell holds on to it. But Dion Kovar is there. Car around turn four. Trouble for Braden Latour off of corner number four. That's going to result in a yellow. And we're going to have to try this again. Little green white checkered action Woo! for your Avid Realty Sport Modified B feature. Well, again. the good, good news for Dion Kovar is he secured that spot before the lap was completed. So he stays in the final transfer spot. I got a Snapchat one day that said they got a puppy, and as soon as I saw they had a puppy, I knew it was coming next. <laughs> oh, I can't make that joke. Don't make that joke. <laughs> All right, anyways, green flag's <laughs> coming back out. I'll put that joke on the back burner, and we're going to get this B feature back underway. McLean Reed, Tyler Nehrud, Justin Bell, and it's about to get really, really Go. interesting. Kovar on the outside, down the back stretch. He's got third. Can he hold on to it? White flag is in the hands of Caden Murray out of turn four. Dion Kovar's up to third. He's going to look all over the back bumper of Tyler Nehrud. McLean Reed hangs on to it down the back straightaway. Nehrud looking to catch any advantage that he can through three and four. Dion Kovar's going to try the low side, try and steal second, but he's not going to. And your winner's going to be the Mac Daddy. McLean Reed in the 44. Second place runner will go to 5T of Tyler Nehrud. The 18 of Dion Kovar brings it home in third and rounding out your top four will be Justin Bell in the 8X. 
Avid Realty Sport Mod inside row number one, the 51 of Mike Shinus to his outside, the 33 B. Brianna Fanstill. Starting inside row number two in the 66 machine, that's Trevor Noonan. And to his outside, the plumber, the 31 S, Jacob Swanson. Row number three to the inside, the 25 X, Joe Fay. And to his outside, the 17 of Mary Hahn. Row number four coming at you this way, the 24 of Drake Bullmeyer to his outside, the number 22, Batman Matt Andrews. Row number five to the inside, the 18 M, Mason Richards to his outside, the 7 B, Adam Verbka. Row number six is going to be last week's feature winner, the 6A, Adam Armstrong, to his outside the 11X of Steve Divot. Coming at you, four wide this time by. This is your Avid Realty Sport Modified Parade Laps. Pick out your favorite driver, give them a good wave, and get ready for the show, because they ain't going to behave. Row number seven will be the two of Ryan Arbergast and the 21T of Tyler Haar. Number, uh, row number eight is going to be the 44D of Derek Hall to his outside, the 36 of Dana Deakey. Your B feature transfer, row number nine, will be the 44, Mac Daddy McLean Reed and the 5T of Tyler Nared. Row number 10 will be the 18 of Dion Kovar and the 8X of Justin Bell. I don't know about you, but I'm pumped up. The music's right. The wind has finally died down a little bit and the action is just starting to heat up. A feature number two of five for the evening, your Avid Realty Sport Mods getting ready to come at you this way. Ah, uh, no. Ray Charles could have seen that that one wasn't gonna work out. <laughs> it's a blind joke and it's okay because I'm blind. That's gonna be a restart, Eagle Raceway. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Take a drink. All right, take two. Brianna Fansteel with the early advantage rolling through one and two. Big packs coming behind her. Good battle for the second spot between Shinest and Noonan. Jacob Swanson trying to enter his hat in the ring. Oh no, Shinest nearly goes around. He collects Swanson. Big pile up off a of corner four. Gonna affect Swanson, Shinest, Fayan. And let's see, is that your beefy? Nope, that's the 24 machine of Drake Bullmeyer. I see Andrews. That made things interesting. Han and... Oh, wow. Yeah, there's three more cars pressed up against the outside uh, turn four wall. I was watching the pile headed for the infield. You were watching the pile headed for the wall. Row number five is two and 21, and we're gonna go green this time by. It's Fayan and Fansteel leading the field back to the green flag. 18 laps remaining, because that's how many we started with. Let's get it on off of corner number four. Avid Realty Sport Mods coming at you. Joe Fan with a good advantage rolling off into corner number one. Going on behind him, Drake Bullmeyer is going to try and make things interesting. Fansteel is going to ride right along. And here comes Matt Andrews to the outside. Andrews not happy with fourth. He's going to try and set the battle on. Joe Fan's going to lead lap number one. Followed by Drake Bullmeyer and Matt Andrews. Andrews dips down to the low side in one and two. And we've got a pile up over in two. Brianna Fansteel is going to keep it going. But that collects Adam Armstrong, who's not so lucky, but does end up getting the car refired. Can't quite make out who's on the bottom of turn number two. That may be the seven of Cook. Our two positions better than John. Uh, Kyle ended up getting the win. So that's the tiebreaker is whoever finishes better. All right, Sport Mod guys, I'm talking to you. Let's try and keep this thing clean and green for 17. Off of corner number four, Kate has got the green flag in hand. Let's get back to racing action. Joe Fay is going to lead the crowd around. Mary Hahn off the pace from the start. She's going to pull to the infield. Tough break for the 17 machine. Good battle going on for the lead in corner number three. Fayan drifts high. That opens up the door for Drake Bullmeyer on the low side. Fayan's going to hold the momentum and hang on to the lead. Drake Bullmeyer still looking a little good. Run off the corner for Joe Fayan. He's going to hold on to the race lead. Down the back stretch they go and into, into turn number three. Uh, Drake Bullmeyer still not giving up on that low side. Great battle for third. Mason Richards and your defending track champion, Matt Andrews. That battle's gonna continue to shape down the back straightaway. Andrews with the stronger run rolling into three. We've got one around over in corner number two. And we're gonna keep her. Oh. 
tough break for Steve Divot. Nearly had that thing refired and around. Great effort, Steve, and we appreciate you for it. Just a millisecond too late and had to call the caution because the field was coming at him. You know, you see it so many times at about every racetrack in America. There's always that one guy who just waits and waits, and the car just magically fires when the yellow comes out. Steve stayed in the gas, tried to keep it going. Fortunately, just not quite quick enough, yeah. so he's going to be relegated to the rear. Relegated? That's the right word, right? I think so. Okay. Well, we're going to go with it until uh, Webster's tells me I'm uh, wrong. I was watching a little bit of uh, possible uh, extracurricular communication between Adam Armstrong and Derek Hall. That could get kind of interesting around the jet racing dinner table. Yeah. Derek Hall, first year in a jet car. Green flag is back out, out of turn number two. Joe Fayan doing a great job holding on to the race lead. Up to the high side again. Drake Bullmeyer's moved up. Now Matt Andrews working the low side. Mason Richards down low. Andrews looking low, trying to get around Drake Bullmeyer. 22 versus 24. 24 is going to take the high line. Matt Andrews going to go low, showing why he was the track champion out here last year. Drake bullmeyer has got the momentum off of four, but it's gonna be a drag race down into one. Who wants that low line real estate? Matt Andrews loves the catfish inside of things right now. Joe Fain keeps it out front. Matt Andrews keeps it down low off of corner number four. That good momentum sticking with the 24 of Bullmeyer. Oh, Bullmeyer up the racetrack a little bit. Doesn't slow him down off turn number two. He's gonna hold on to that second spot. Derek Hall makes contact with the outside wall, turns one and two. Joe Fan continues to lead. The battle is still for second and third. Andrews still trying the catfish line. Drake Bullmeyer still got the advantage. Where did Adam Verbka come from? Verbka holding on to that fourth spot. Oh, Derek Hall off the pace. He's pulling to the infield. Tough break for Derek Hall. Tyler Haar with a strong charge in the fifth. Mason Richards may have just gone up in smoke. Sorry, James. Oh, you are all good. I'm definitely trying to kind of adjust my smell to see what that is, and it definitely sounds, smells a little bit oily. I'm not sure if it's rear end oil or not. Back to the front. Joe Fain getting reports of oil all over the backstretch. Adam Verbka and Matt Andrews going at it. This was the one two points battle last year. And what a great battle it is, even shaping up for right now. Armstrong moves up to the high line down the backstretch. Verbka likes it low. Andrews is going to seal the deal on that spot through three and four. As your race leader, Joe Fain starting to close in on lap traffic. Joe Fan starting to close in on lap traffic of Brianna Fan still. Brianna had a pretty good heat race. Car out turn three and four. It's Adam Armstrong. Last week's feature winner in your current points leader. He keeps it going. We stay green. Attaboy, Adam. Thank you for keeping us clean and green. Brianna Fan still has pulled off the racetrack. Joe Fan continues to lead. Seven laps to go this time by. It's Fan. Bullmeyer, Andrews, and Verbka. This is going to be a big hit to Adam Armstrong. Caution is out, possibly debris. And by the uh, Auto Connection tow crew's reaction, looks like debris on the front stretch. It's great to have you back out at the racetrack, man. Eagle Raceway, we're about ready to go back to green. We're going to try to talk to Shane as this race goes on. All right, race fans off of corner number four. You've got Joe Fan out front with a staunch herd of cars here behind him. Matt Andrews immediately goes for the low side through one and two. Drake Bullmeyer sticking it up high. Adam Verbka wants to stay a part of this battle. Six laps to go for Fan. This time past the flag stand. Good battle off of corner number four. Drake Bullmeyer's gonna hang on to second, but Matt Andrews continues to inch closer and closer as each lap clicks off. 
Joe Fayen, Drake Bullmeyer, Matt Andrews, Adam Verbka, and look at that, James, who's in fifth? It's the Matt Daddy, McCushion is out. We got Debris again. The McCaution? I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> uh, Drake Bullmeyer must have, uh, uh, we're getting reports Drake Bullmeyer ran over that debris. We'll see if it has any effect on the 24 car. Ryan Arbergast, Adam Armstrong, uh, Jacob Swanson, and we're green, green, green. Steve DeVitt, that's it, Steve DeVitt. Took a little while, but you got it. Look at Matt Andrews on the low side. Holy cow, he's gonna mount that challenge. Not quite enough to get around Bullmeyer. He'll go at it again on the low side. Not giving up on the low, and the low side is Batman. He'll look to the low side. Out of turn two, Matt Andrews is taking over the second spot. But Bullmeyer fights back on the high side. Can Andrews close the door? He won't. Bullmeyer's gonna get the run up the corner there, side by side down the back stretch. Holy cow, good battle off of four. Matt Andrews is gonna take that second spot away from Bullmeyer. It makes me question if Bullmeyer did catch onto that debris. Andrews tries the slider and it's gonna stick that time by. Three laps oh. remaining off of four this time. A Little bit of a push for Andrews there. He's able to recover though. Three laps left to go. Joe Fayen has led pretty much all of them, right? Yes. I missed the, the beginning of the race. I was in the VIP booth. Joe Fayen, Fancy Matt way Andrews. Of saying restroom. Thank you. Joe Fayen, Matt Andrews, Drake Bullmeyer, uh, Adam Verbka, and McLean Reed. Oh, we got a big pile up front stretch. Two cars get together. Could have been more. But everyone was able to get by, and it's Tyler Nared and Jacob Swanson. Jacob Swanson. Next flag ends the race, whether it's a caution or a checker. Next flag ends the race. Matt Andrews has got one more shot at it. Joe Fayen on the loud pedal. Fayen sticks with that high line. Andrews is gonna try it out low. Drake Bullmeyer also trying out the low line for the first time this evening. Adam Burbka wants in on that battle as well. Bullmeyer says, I don't like that low side. I'm gonna stick it back up high. Fan hangs on, white flag is out, one lap to go as Verb conceals the deal for third against Bullmeyer. Bullmeyer fights back on the high side. Joe Fayen pulls away down the back stretch. Out of turn number four, the 25X is gonna land it in Demon Decals, victory lane. Great run for Joe Fayen. Matt Andrews is gonna bring it home in the second spot. Adam Verbka third, Drake Bullmeyer fourth. And of course, I don't have my timing up, but McLean I believe Reed. the fifth place runner is going to be the Mac Daddy, McLean Reed. Great run for McLean Reed coming out of the B feature and making his way up. Hell of a run for him. I was kind of trying to keep my eyes peeled on how this hard charger was going to go, but there was so much action throughout that race, Yeah, be it under green or under caution. Joe Fang going to give us a little bit of uh, after show burnout. I think we're going to get a bit of a show of some kind. Let's see. Either that or he's waiting to talk to somebody. <laughs> but I don't know who he'd want to talk to after leading every lap. There he goes, Eagle Raceway. Good to see Joe Fayen headed back to Demon Decal's victory lane. Been a couple years for that 25 machine, but he is here each and every yeah. week with one fast jet car.